Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about something absolutely wild, something that pushes the boundaries of small unit firepower and might just redefine what it means to bring heavy support to the battlefield. I'm talking about Barrett's brand new squad support rifle system, or SSRS, and yes, you better believe it. It's chambered in 30 millimeter. Let that sink in for a second. Barrett, the legendary manufacturer of the 50 caliber anti-material rifles that shook up military arsenals around the world, has stepped into the grenade launcher game, and they are not playing around. This isn't just a bulked up launcher slapped together for show. This is a fully engineered, purpose-built system for the US Army's Precision Grenadier System, a next generation program designed to give infantry the kind of firepower we used to only see mounted on vehicles or aircraft. What Barrett has done here, in collaboration with a defense startup called Mars Inc., is nothing short of revolutionary. The SSRS fires 30 mm grenades from a five round detachable box magazine. And get this, the entire system weighs just under 14 pounds. Now for comparison, that's not much more than some of the old school automatic grenade launchers ammo boxes alone. But this baby, it's semi-automatic, shoulder fired, magazine fed, and compact. Coming in at around 34 inches overall with a 12 inch barrel. So we're talking about a launcher that brings vehicle grade firepower into the hands of one soldier, and it doesn't stop there. This thing is smart. It's equipped with the Vortex Optics XM157, an advanced fire control system with a built-in ballistic calculator, laser rangefinder, and programmable airburst capability. That means you can engage enemies behind cover, in trenches, or inside buildings, and the SSRS will calculate the exact detonation timing so your round explodes at just the right moment, in midair, behind walls, or even above their heads. It's basically a precision strike in a backpack-sized package. But here's the real kicker. It's not just about brute force. The SSRS was designed with modern warfare in mind, where urban environments, drones, and asymmetric threats dominate the battlefield. Barrett and Mars Inc. built this weapon to take on everything from enemy infantry and complex terrain to unmanned aerial systems. You can use high explosive airburst rounds to neutralize cover, armor piercing grenades for light vehicles, and anti personnel rounds to clear out enemy positions. And because it's semi automatic with a detachable magazine, you've got rapid follow up capability that makes the old single shot or pump action launchers look like toys by comparison. Imagine being able to lay down multiple precision airburst grenades in a matter of seconds, all while maneuvering like a standard rifleman. That's a complete shift in how we think about grenade launchers. Now let's talk design. This isn't just some blocky hunk of metal slapped together for the show floor. Barrett took the time to make this thing ergonomic, rugged, and field ready. The controls are intuitive, the recoil is reportedly manageable despite the caliber, and the whole platform is optimized for mobile deployment. This isn't meant to sit on a tripod or mount to a turret. It's meant to move with the squad, offering the kind of overwhelming firepower you can take right into a firefight. It also shows that Barrett is paying close attention to future combat trends. With threats like swarming drones, fortified positions in urban warfare, and dispersed enemy formations, traditional rifle calibers just don't cut it anymore. You need a launcher that can put a grenade exactly where you want it every single time, without relying on guesswork or indirect fire teams. And that's where the SSRS shines. Honestly, when I first heard Barrett and 30mm in the same sentence, I thought it was some kind of meme. But no, this is real, and it's already making waves. The US Army is reportedly testing it as part of its effort to modernize squad level support weapons. And with this kind of versatility and tech, I wouldn't be surprised if it becomes a core piece of infantry kits in the near future. It gives small units their own portable artillery, combined with the precision of a sniper rifle and the flexibility of a modular weapon platform. And think about the psychological impact of this on the battlefield. Knowing that any squad might be packing a smart grenade launcher that can airburst over your cover, that's a game changer. So yeah, this isn't just a launcher, it's a statement. It's Barrett saying, we're not done innovating. And they're backing that up with a weapon that fuses power, precision, and practicality like nothing else out there. So what do you all think? Is this the future of squad support weapons? Would you want to carry this in the field? 
Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you think the SSRS is going to reshape infantry tactics or if you see any downsides to such a high caliber launcher being issued at the squad level. And of course, if you're loving this kind of content, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our next deep dive. We've got more cutting edge tech, battlefield breakdowns, and tactical analysis coming your way. So stay locked in. Until next time, stay sharp, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.